doing an oil change isn't that difficult. I'm gonna teach you the tips and tricks how to do this quickly and without any mess and without any troubles. So the tools you're gonna need is a jack, jack stance, your oil, your oil filter, gloves, and a shop towel. If your car is lowered or even has a front lip like mine, it's best to use some wooden planks or even drywall to help elevate your wheels. Under the hood, every engine bay layout is usually the same. If you want to locate your engine, it's usually the biggest component that's in there, which is in front of us. And if you want to know where to fill up your engine oil, is over here. If you don't know which oil to use, most manufacturers write down the type of oil located on the cap right here. You could also use different kind of oils, but make sure you check with the forums and the dealership. First step of safety is to engage the handbrake behind the wheels. Just put a brick there. And on the other side. If your car is kind of low, you can put like wooden blocks under your wheel and then another big wooden plate for your jack. When you're raising the car, make sure the jack's right in the center for a balanced lift. Okay, after that's been lifted, take your jack stand, slide it right under, right there. Do the same yeah. on the other side. Just like that. And after that, what you're gonna do is lower it. All right, so the jack stands holding up the car. Right at the pinch weld. And then the jack, with a slight bit of pressure, is just holding up the subframe. Now, next thing you wanna do is push your car. To make sure everything is solid. Just take your car, really push into it. Like we wanna really shake this if all is good, nothing's gonna collapse. All right, so to drain your oil, since the car is raised, we're gonna go down under here. First, what we're gonna do, take your oil pan, put it down. What you're gonna see when you go under here, right up here, this is where usually there's a bolt. What I did was install something cool. This is a valve. You don't need any tool. The way you drain your oil, is super simple. Right here is a little lever. I'm gonna push this down and turn this to the left. Watch this. Check that out. Oil is just coming out and you have no tools, nothing. And all you do is just let this pour into the pan. There's about over four liters, four and a half liters, depends on your car. I usually put 4.4, so. And another tip to help you out to drain that faster or at least more smoothly actually, is to open the oil cap. Just like that. Now, before this valve, there used to be a bolt just like this. This is a 17 millimeter. And in order to remove that, you would need a 17 millimeter deep socket and the breaker bar. The process would have been simple. You just counterclockwise, and that's how you do it. But with this valve, you don't need any more tools. The only tools you would need is the jack and the jack stand. The convenience of this valve, if I want to shut it off, that's it. And you can see the oil stop draining. If you want to drain it again, I just push it down to the left. Simple. So how do you know when the oil is finished draining? When it starts dripping like this. That's your cue. You shut, shut the valve off, take a shop towel, and just clean off any excess oil around the area. Good. The next step is to remove the oil filter, which is located right there. All you do, take your hand and just turn this counterclockwise. Twisting this off, and you can already see it's already spilling. So my hand's getting tired. Oh, got it, got it. And that's it. This is your oil filter. Pretty dirty. I wouldn't <laughs> touch anything else. Just make sure you clean your driveway because there will be spots just like that. I'll just use a Shop towel, get whatever you can. Okay, so with all the dirty oil drained, we're gonna remove our oil pan. Careful not to tip anything over. So that's our old junk, we'll clean that up later. And oh boy, we gotta, yeah, might wanna clean that up here and there. Up here, we clean this off too. Don't wanna have any oil dripping or any gunk in the surrounding area. 
What we have here is a new oil and a new oil filter. Make sure you check your vehicle specification on what oil filter type you need for the Genesis Coupe. It's M1104 for the 2 liter turbo. And since I'm using a turbo engine, I'm using OW40. And I'll always go for Mobile One. But you can use any oil that you prefer. So what we do, take out our filter box. It's our brand new filter. We are going to fill it up with some fresh oil. Open that up. Not too much. Just enough. Perfect. And what you want to do, dip your finger around the O-rings over here. Just lubricate it. Perfect. All right, so see that thread right up there? We're going to put this in there. Twist it on. Should be fine? Okay, good. All we do, we just hand tighten this. So twist it on completely. Okay, now with a little bit of strength, and that's it, we're done. First, we're gonna raise the car to remove the jack stand, and then we're gonna completely lower it. Now the easiest part, you fill in the oil, using a funnel. So, remove the old cap. Okay, put it somewhere safe. Put the funnel in. Okay, perfect. Open the oil. Take your old cap, you know, wipe it down. Good. Remove the funnel, clean up the surrounding areas, and seal it off. Here's some clicks, and that's it guys, you're done. Before we start the car, check our engine oil level. You're gonna see a handle like this, it has two indicators that says L and F. So, that looks perfect. Right between the L and the F. In our final step, start up your car, go around the block, make sure everything's running smoothly, and you're good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like and subscribe.